recording live from quarantine. We are off to go bring my dad some. I made some conchas and Lee made her delicious no yeast bread. So we're gonna go drop it off. <laughs> I'm looking at Adam because he's staring at it. This is the first time I literally kind of styled my hair. I just blow dried it straight. And this is the first time both... my hair is not in a hair tie. So. Yeah, we both kind of have makeup on. Yeah. So we feel like human beings again. We did a light little touch just to honestly feel decent because it's been probably a good month since we've worn makeup. Oh my God. Quarantine Because there's not that much to film. No. Besides us pretty much cooking and baking. They would have probably so. seen us in the Bahamas by now and oh my uh, God. that didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe next year if we're lucky. Yeah. So I'll show you guys what we're bringing my dad and um, just so you know I'm quarantined with Jules because we live together and we're with both of our boyfriends. Yeah. So Attic and Nikita. They're so lucky. They're lucky to have us. <laughs> So you can see guys, my dad requested this loaf of bread and Julia made her delicious conchas and she made them almost look like Easter eggs, which was actually my idea. <laughs> we made sure to be very sanitary because we're so worried about my dad. In fact, I haven't seen him in literally over a month, I would say even. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see him today from the window and we're gonna give him these. Um, since my bread came out of the oven, I haven't touched it with my hands. I've been really careful because I don't want to get any germs on it. God forbid we have something, we don't want to give it to him. So we're being very sanitary. <laughs> I just told Nikita about doing this vlog. He gave me I feel sick. Hi, your introduction. <laughs> She's with her dad, yeah. <laughs> Driving to my dad's. Luna! I want Luna! I'm so sad that he can't even see Luna. Luna's crying so much to see him. <laughs> They're kissing at the door. <laughs> What do you have to say? Not much, honey. Buona Pasqua. <laughs> Love you. I'm a little lightheaded though, maybe because of the hey, emotions oh. that I saw you guys. Uh, oh, she's so happy. Wow, she has a lot of energy today. Come on, baby. Come on, Luna. <laughs> it's her daughter. Little Luna. They're eating my bread. <laughs> the bread too. She's saying, what's mom giving the duckies? Sorry, Looney. No, you can't go near. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I just went to Kata. I beat Jules and Nikita. <laughs> I hate you both. And it was a close game because we were literally neck and neck. All of us. We all had nine points. I won. Woo! Oh, Luna, Luna, poor Luna gets so nervous when we play because we're always yelling. My baby, we're having fun with yeah. friends. Good morning and happy Easter, everyone. Today I'm going to be making this Irish soda bread again. You saw me make it for my dad yesterday, and today I'm going to give it to my boyfriend's mother and father because he's going by his house today to stop off there for a bit and I figured I might as well give them a delicious loaf of homemade bread and it's so easy guys. I will of course have my recipe linked in the description box down below and anything that I make in this vlog, however long this runs for, a week, two weeks, three weeks, I'll just link everything down below that I can. We're constantly baking in this house so I'm sure there will be a few links there. God of War, right babe? There you go. Is it weird that I like to watch him play video games? <laughs> Anybody else feel the same? Because I actually really enjoy this. <laughs> Come here. Hey guys, my 2020 resolution is that if you're not having battered fries, you don't know what you're doing with your Are you life. even having fries is the question. You're not. This I kind of dip them one by one. And how did together. you make this batter, roughly? This is pretty much flour, a little bit of cornstarch, water, mm -hmm. and then a lot of the Creole seasoning spices, and I'll show you which one. Oh my I god, use. no wonder this tastes just like the Popeye's fries. Yeah, oh these gosh. are pretty much Popeye. Like, literally, it tastes like Popeye's. It tastes like Popeye's fries, but better because they're thicker. The main guy is this Tony Cacheries. I don't know how to say it, but I know that's a very Tony American. Tony Cacheres. This is a very American seasoning that people swear by. And okay. I bought it off of Amazon. Lisa can link it in the description box. Oh yeah, that's true. And then this one I also bought on Amazon, and this is from Canada, so it's a little bit oh, cheaper. Okay. And it's good too, but this one is definitely more salty, so just be careful with that. Yeah, so that's basically the seasoning. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, it is worth it. Here. Oh my gosh. Have a bite too. They can hear I'm going to have a bite. You'll hear the ASMR crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, guys, these are the best fries ever. Yeah. And take it from Jules because she is the fry guys, queen. Guys, I'm the fry queen. <laughs> you remember him from Poland. <laughs> he was having peaches and I said, you have to do the Italian style with white wine. So he's doing peaches and white wine. My idea. Good job. 
Yeah. It is literally April 15th today and it is a blizzard. It is snowing so much outside right now, which I mean, it's not that unusual for Canada, but wow. I guess weather like this doesn't make staying in so bad. Guys, if you are in quarantine and you have, I would say at least three people with you, even two or more, but three people, definitely get Catan and not just the regular Catan, but this is the Game of Thrones Catan. We are obsessed with it. It adds a whole fun element to the game, like these little white walkers come in and then there are all these cards that aid you in doing certain things so they can help you. You can exchange a resource card at the one-to-one -one rate instead of three to one it is honestly such a fun game we are loving Catan. now we are big time into board games because like i said it is four of us quarantined together so usually jules and nikita and i will be playing and sometimes Attic will even join in now we're looking into getting some other games as well so if i find Hi. another one yeah, yeah i'm gonna say <laughs> so so now we were researching what other games to play because I feel like we've mastered Catan, so we are getting Scythe. We will let you know how we Show like it. <laughs> So I turned my banana bread recipe into a carrot loaf, basically a carrot cake loaf, and I substituted the bananas for equal amounts of carrots. And if I make a blog post about this carrot loaf, I will also link that down below, but it looks so good. I'm just waiting for it to cool before I can top it and then eat it. How yummy is this? Okay, well, it's safe to say that this loaf was a definite success as it is literally all gone in, I think, like five hours. <laughs> so I will link the blog post down below because I have just written one up. <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> so I will link the blog post down below. Check it out. Good morning, guys. Today is, I don't know what day of the vlog this is, maybe day three or four. These vlogs are going to be sort of choppy but put all together to be one cohesive video so I hope you guys don't mind. My day is definitely not interesting enough to have a vlog a day so I hope you enjoy these little bits. This is a piece of that delicious carrot cake loaf. It's so good and it's basically done. And this is my cappuccino and I made this with the few that I have left of this Nescafe Gold Ginseng. I love ginseng coffee and you can only really find these in Italy so when I went I stocked up and I'm almost done I was hoping to buy some more this year but it doesn't look like that's happening unfortunately but how good does this look this beautiful ginseng cappuccino and this delicious carrot cake loaf hi little loony today I did my nails with one of my favorite nail polishes lately this is a Quo nail polish. So you can get it from shoppers. Luna thinks it's going to be a treat for her. It's called Blissful, and I love this color because it is the perfect, super, super pale, almost like purpley pink, if that makes sense. So it's not the orangey-based pink. It's like a purpley pink, and it's literally so pretty. It honestly looks very white, <laughs> but compared to Luna, who's super white, you can, I hope, see the true color. Luna. And it's really nice. It goes on nicely. There's a nice brush. I love this color. So I did it on my nails and on my toes. I gave myself a little mani-pedi today. Right? Do you like my toes, Looney? Are they pretty? Do my toes look nice? <laughs> She's like, Mom, what are you saying? So Jules is making her cake pops. They're basically based on the Momofuku cake pops, right? Yeah, the, the milk bar. The yeah. milk bar, yeah, the milk yeah, bar the birthday milk. cake um, cake pops and what she has here is some birthday cake. The little hack is to use box mix. It is so much Wait, easier. Like just the Betty Crocker birthday cake Just one. the box mix is amazing. And then she rolls it into balls. There's a little bit of vanilla milk inside that, I believe. You can yes. find the recipe online. And she's just basically rolling them into balls. And then she's going to put this them in the this sand. delicious coating, which they is, yeah. the birthday cake sand. Birthday sand. And this is honestly what makes them so delicious and addictive, guys. It is amazing. So yeah. I highly recommend these birthday cake pops. They are so good. I gave Luna a little treat, a little dental stick treat that looks like a churro. And she doesn't know where to put it. She gets so excited to hide these before she ever even tries them. So she's thinking of every little nook and cranny to put this in. She's so sweet. Oh, she's hiding it behind the pillow. Good choice, Luna. Good morning. 
morning with my daily ginseng cappuccino. Today I'm also having a milk bar inspired cake pop that Jules made. They are so delicious. I haven't been seen in this vlog very much but pretty soon I'll be getting ready so that I can film that pavlova video and I also have to bake it for Jen's birthday so you'll be seeing me very soon. Today is my sister Jen's birthday today so we have quite a busy day. I managed to get Oh, I would say a 45 minute window in my bedroom so that I can actually get ready today because my boyfriend works from home in my bedroom. <laughs> so that's become his little office and sometimes he does video calls. So I had to really make sure that I had a window in order to get ready and be able to, well, be ready for the day because it's her birthday and it's nice to get ready for once in like a month. And also I'm filming today because since I'm making my sister's birthday cake, which is a pavlova, it actually feels super nice to be ready for once in my life. I wonder how long you guys have been in quarantine for. Here in Canada, especially where I live in Toronto, they've made it, I think, mandatory since mid-March. But I have been quarantining myself since the very beginning of March, I believe March 2nd or 3rd, because I actually got sick, ended up getting pretty sick, thinking it was corona, it ended up being strep throat, but honestly I haven't felt the greatest this time, so I guess being in quarantine just makes you think, do I have the coronavirus? So I'm curious how long you guys have been in your house for, or where you're from, and how long you're supposed to be in your house for. This is just a very crazy time period, unlike anything else, which is sort of why I wanted to vlog just to remember this weird moment in history, I guess. So hopefully everyone out there is staying safe and I hope that you guys are being positive right now. It's not the greatest, but it has made some positive changes in our lives. I think that I will appreciate going out a lot more now <laughs> when it happens in the future and we won't take these moments for granted so much. And I really wish I could give my parents a big hug and a big kiss because I haven't really, I haven't seen my mom in a long time. So hopefully that will change soon. And I saw my dad, but of course I couldn't give him a hug or a kiss. Luna was also freaking out because she couldn't hug him, so it's just very strange times. So anyways, I'm going to start filming now and making the pavlova because it's kind of temperamental. It needs to sit for a while in the oven. And since we're going to be having a lot of cooking going on today, I sort of need to get it over with first. Jules will be helping me film, of course. So I will see you guys soon. Luna, Luna hates when we make anything and it's loud. You hate it, Luna. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I will sit with Luna today, okay? That's enough of this noise. I know, I know. So Jules and I are making Jen a pot roast as well for her birthday. So what we are doing is we are browning the meat first, just quickly in the same roasting pan, but on top of the stove, browning the meat. And then we're going to be adding the vegetables like the carrots and the onions, some seasonings, some wine. Then we're going to put a lid on it and let this slow cook for about three to four hours in the oven. Since I have my pavlova in the oven, we are going to run this up to Jen's oven and cook that in there. Hopefully it comes out really delicious for her birthday. Now we added some wine to this. And what is this kind of roast? Not a chuck roast, but yeah, a blade chuck. roast? Or? I think you could do blade. You, you could, could do, do blade or chuck. Blade. Yeah. Those are the two hot roasts. So basically this meat is gonna be cooked down a lot yeah. until it's very tender. Throwing in some gluten gives for flavor. So there's salt, veg, everything. It's gonna be super yummy. Okay, so I am obsessed with green onions and now that we can't go to the grocery store as often as we like because we have to be bulk buying things, I actually am growing some. So what you have to do is basically cut the stem and leave about this much going. So sort of where you see it starts to grow off there, just give it a snip. So let's do that. Like so. So we have that. And that's essentially all you need to do to grow a green onion. You're going to place this in water. Make sure you cover it with water, but don't cover the top of this. So leave it in a little tiny bowl for now. And then I'm just going to be using these green onions and saving this stem right now to grow some. And I'll show you how it's been going because I have been growing these already for a good two weeks now. Okay, so as you can see, the green onions are in here. It is pretty much covered with water, but the top part has room to grow without water, of course. It helps when the root is so nice and thick. These are some nice thick green onions, as you can see. So I like to leave them in a nice sunny spot. Now here are some green onions that I've already been growing. I've used these quite a few times, so as you can see, they're getting much thinner. But look how thick that root is, it's quite thick. Now I've been using these, just chopping them, and they keep growing. They've grown so much, and they all started out looking like that. So after you chop them pretty good two or three times. I don't think they will grow much after that unless you transfer them over to soil, but this is really good for me because I love green onions, so <laughs> I've been reusing them and I haven't run out of them since, and we do grocery shopping, I would say every two to three weeks now 
because it is so scary to grocery shop. Of course, if we need basic things like milk or eggs or whatever, the guys just run out and pick those up, but a good grocery shopping haul, we can't do very often anymore. So just little tips like that helps you get by during this crazy quarantine episode that we have going on here. <laughs> <laughs> They've never met you before, so we just wanted to pop in and say hi. Hello. Quickly. This is my lovely boyfriend who is in quarantine with me. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Spending a lot of time together. Yes, we're spending tons of time together and we're actually super happy. Are you surprised? Yeah, yeah. You're not surprised. Not surprised at all, but <laughs> very happy. <laughs> So Jules is also making her famous popovers. These are actually so easy. Eggs, flour, and milk, yeah. And then a little bit of either butter at the bottom or bacon fat. In our case, we're using bacon fat because we have so much left over from frying bacon for the potatoes and for the Caesar. So we're trying not to be wasteful here and we're using everything. And now these little pots are specifically made for the popovers, but if you have muffin tins, feel mm -hmm. free to use those as well. You pour them in when the bacon has been heated up in the oven for like a couple minutes, three to four minutes. And then you're gonna pop you these. Make sure, oops. Oh, you <laughs> wanna make sure your pan is really hot. Yeah, the pan has to be really hot, and then you pop these quickly in the oven. On top of that, we are doing these stuffed potatoes. These are twice baked potatoes, which is the perfect thing to make in advance because basically just 30 minutes before dinner, we're gonna pop these into the oven so that they cook and they get all nice and creamy and baked and gooey. Oh, they look so good. So I'll show you the you potatoes. You can even make them the night before. Yeah, you can really make them as advanced as you would like. They are delicious. Look how good they look. Mm. There they are. You'll see them when they're all done and they're gonna look like a brand new woman. Look how gorgeous these popovers are, or even you can call them Yorkshire puddings if you would like, but truly they are popovers because look how much they popped over. Wow! So we are almost getting all ready. It's about an hour to go before the birthday dinner. We have the salad here just drying off. And yeah, everything's coming together nicely. So Jules and I have been sleeping over all day. I'm so tired. I literally have not sat down for like hours. <laughs> the only time I really sat down is to write up my blog post for my pavlova recipe. So I'll link that down below in the description box. So good guys, honestly, it is amazing. Like I was never really a fan of pavlova, but yeah. when I had Lisa's, she totally converted me and now I'm obsessed. Now Jules is always craving so it all the time. <laughs> Especially with the strawberries, it literally tastes like a funnel cake, but it's like way less fattening and like bad for you because it's not fried and it's pretty much all egg whites. Yeah, it's like just egg whites and sugar, no it's flour. so good guys, it's amazing. Like I said, it would be a good recipe if you're in quarantine, you wanna make a cake and you don't have flour, this oh is God, a great it's cake. so good. I made a nice big dinner for everyone, so. Pot roast, popover, yeah. Caesar salad, twice baked potatoes, corn. cream corn. <laughs> Pavlova, you even made cake pops. We have some bocconcini, mozzarella, you know, some spread. A burrata. For the beginning. That Dan got Jen. Yeah. Very so sweet. That was very nice. Yeah, Dan did a really nice birthday surprise for Jen. So Sorry. you know how some people have, you've seen on Instagram, they'll drive by and they'll wave to people to say happy Easter or whatever. Well, for Jen's birthday, um, Dan kind of organized and had all of her friends drive by. So they're going to be driving by the street here. I Such think he's going idea. to be bringing her downstairs so she can see them up close to wave to them. And it's they're a really cute idea. They're all going to drive by and honk. And I don't yeah. know if anyone's going to have like a sign or something. Yeah. But it's a really cute idea if you're in quarantine because you cannot celebrate with your friends like you yeah. usually would. Yeah. So this is just a little something cute. And I feel like Jen is such a friend-oriented person, so it's oh, actually yeah. like a perfect surprise she for her. Love seeing her friends. She's probably going crazy celebrating in quarantine where I, I would be fine. <laughs> but for Jen, it's like a no-no. So, but yeah, so we are pooped, but at least we're good sisters, and we're trying to make Jen's birthday very as special. best as it can be. Yeah. She's lucky to be surrounded by her loved ones, and that's all we can ask for right now in this crazy quarantine time. By the way, Jules is my younger sister. If you guys didn't know, the and Jen is the older. Sister. Sister. Everyone thinks I'm the oldest. So I'm everyone thinks I'm the baby, but I'm in the middle. I guess I'm tall and yeah. I wear more makeup, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Sister, <laughs> sister vlog. Soon you'll be seeing Jen. <laughs> Cheers to the Cheers. drinking girls! Happy birthday, Jen! Happy birthday, Jen. Do you have any words of wisdom for being the age of Christ, Lana de Cristo? Being the age of Christ? <laughs> Today, yeah. I have to say, it only gets better with age. Oh, how cute does Jen look? She dressed up today for her birthday because just because we're in quarantine, it's been a while. I'm gonna stop her. It doesn't mean that you can't dress up on your birthday. Everyone should dress up on their birthday. It doesn't matter if they're in quarantine or not. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna film Dan too. Thanks, Dan, for helping organize this. Dan That's did a great fun. job. This is a little bit of the spread, guys, for Jen's birthday. <laughs> driving by for her birthday. That is so cute. 
That is so sweet. <laughs> Georgie! Hi, Georgie! Hi, Georgie! Georgie! <laughs> hey, guys. This was honestly such a... Oh, my God, Jan, smile, smile. This is pretty. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. We love you. Love you. I'm everything. I don't need to ask for anything other than for Corona. We're going to do a boomer. Uh, Cheers, guys. Thanks. Love you all. Guys, the birthday was a definite success, oh, so and now how did you figure that out? it is three, us four, and we are learning how to play oh, this, that's this game three? called oh, what is Scythe. This? What is it? These are because we are Catan junkies, and we've mastered Catan, so that's now we want to play a new game. And this looks so what's these? So that was a little over your pointing out, right? Yeah. Cooks. Scythe. Always cooks. Cooks. Always cooks. <laughs> We are playing Scythe. Okay, all right. Um, oh, I was so discouraged off. by this game. I didn't think that I would even... Last night she was crying yeah. about it. Not crying, but I was like, oh my God, what is this? I feel You're like I'm doing homework. But then we studied the game. We figured out how to play and I ended up winning. Oh my God, so I came... You came second. Oh, I came second. I thought you came second. Yeah, no, Attic is third, Babe is fourth. Aww. Little babe. But this was actually quite fun. And now that we all have, have the hang of it, I think we'll do really good, so... Don't be discouraged by this game, guys. It's actually quite it fun once you learn. It's a good day of learning. Yeah. Study the booklet and watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Yeah, and play. The most important thing is to and play. Then, so we really actually enjoy this game, and look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. Thanks. You should have waited to get to this <laughs> tier. I'm too excited, guys. I should have moved Guys, I won again. This one here, and then I should have done. I got too excited. Me, Jules, Nikita, and then Adek. I got too excited. Well, at least I moved up a spot. I'm the champion. Guys, Ginseng cappuccino. This is another day, another... Groundhog Day, I suppose. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello, sweetie. Hello, munchkin. <laughs> now I woke you up, huh? Oh, she's so comfy. <laughs> this is what Luna does from now until... until basically 3 or 4 o'clock. <laughs> You're so sweet, my little angel. She's such a sweet little munchkin. Yes, baby. I won once and then Jules actually won once. She deserved it, babe. Can't win every time, can ya? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Luna! Hello, my sweetie. Look how beautiful the sunset is. And little Luna's admiring it, right? Mm -hmm.